On this episode of Cooking with Grandpa, we're going to make something that will make your mouth water. These are bacon wrapped, honey glazed baked potatoes. So I got two potatoes sitting here. And what we are going to do first, we're going to get us a knife. Get us a knife. And we're going to make four cuts in this potato halfway through. One down. Now, do the other one. All right. Get these potatoes cut. Next step, we're going to get out some aluminum foil. We're going to roll here. I'm going to unroll several, couple of pieces. One. set down on the aluminum foil. We are going to want a little bit of salt on them. You start with sprinkling a little bit of salt on them. Yeah, I know that doesn't stick to the potatoes. We're just getting it in the area. All right. Next step in this process, I'm going to grab some toothpicks. We're going to grab bacon. Who doesn't like bacon? We're going to take the first strip of bacon. We're going to wrap it around the potato. It should take, depending on the size of the potato, this could take two or three slices. Just like that. Go ahead and pull out three slices since it took three on this other one. Basically, we are wrapping this bacon around the potato. Really simple. And there we go. So we now have two potatoes wrapped in bacon. I don't know why, but just saying potatoes wrapped in bacon sounds good. All right. So in this instance, the bacon is thick enough and it's got enough adherence that I'm not going to need the toothpicks. If you're using a thinner bacon that doesn't want to stick like this did, you can take a toothpick and run it through the bacon and into the potato to hold it in place. Um, again, this stuck real well. I didn't need them. Now, next step is we're going to drizzle it with just a little bit of olive oil. Just right over the top. You can brush it on if you'd like. Either way, it does work. All right. Now that we have olive oil on there, I'm going to put on a little, little bit of fresh great cracked black pepper. There we go. Looking good, didn't it? I suppose I had you at bacon. Alright. Now, 
You can put other seasonings you want on at this point. Um, I'm going to just sprinkle on a little bit of this brown sugar bourbon steak seasoning. Not much, just a little. Okay. That in there. Now, we are going to drizzle honey over the top. Doesn't take much, just a light drizzle. There we go. Now you can also do this by sprinkling brown sugar over the top of it. I'm using honey because, well, I've got it and it's worth it. After we've done this, we need to pull the aluminum foil up and roll it down on top and then tuck and roll the ends. to make a foil pouch for this. Once again, pull the foil up over top, fold it and roll it down, and then roll up the ends. You want to seal all that goodness into it. All right. Those two are ready. I'm get a fire going. I'm going to put these on the grill. Yeah, you heard me right. I'm going to stick these on the grill outside. We're going to grill them. Takes about 45 minutes um, or until the potato is tender inside. If you want to just do this, what I'll call a quick way, you can pre-bake these potatoes and put them in the fridge and chill them. And then when you're ready to do this, you can wrap the bacon, put your seasonings on, drizzle it with honey and put it on the grill or in the oven until it's the, the bacon is done and you've warmed it up. Um, if you're going to do this in the oven, you're going to want 350, 400 for about an hour, probably 350 for about an hour to get these cooked all the way through. All right. All right, so we'll get the grill going. It's nice and hot. You're going to take these potatoes and set them out here on the grill. Kind of putting them off the coals a little. You're going to need to give them 45 minutes. Take the potato off the grill, set it on your plate, and you just got to unwrap it. Ooh, very good. Oh, much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's done. All right. Looky there. Look at that scrumptious thing. I'm going to take my pocket knife. And I'm going to slice right down the middle of this. Oh yeah, it's done. So I took it off at 45 minutes and tested it and it was still hard as a rock. So this actually took an hour and a half on my grill. Not that that's a major ordeal. Sometimes it takes longer, smaller grill, less fire. Maybe it wasn't hot enough. All right, so now we got this potato. We are gonna put butter on it. There we go. Because potato is just not a baked potato without butter. And I brought along some sharp cheddar cheese. I love cheddar cheese on a good baked potato. There we go. Sprinkle it on top. Let's see how this is. Of course, we know it's going to be good. It's got bacon in it, right? So we'll get a little butter. 
Maybe a little bit of bacon. Oh God. Oh my God, that's good. Oh. Now this, this is heaven in a foil pack. Mm. Oh yeah, I got another one still on the grill, so I'm having two of these tonight. These are very good. All right, you may be asking why I have a pistol on the table here. Seems that... Uh, Wild hogs have found my feeder, and while I've got a video of one coming to the feeder, I pulled the video footage, which for some reason I can't watch on my netbook from the new camera. I'll have to take it home and figure out what's going on. But while I was out shaking the dew off the lily, I realized that right out here, the other side of the cabin, there is a huge hog waller, and they've torn up some area. So it looks like they've moved in. If they've moved in, I'm armed. That's 40 cal. That'll put down a hog. Just in case. You know how that is. So, I'm going to go sit here and enjoy my dinner. My honey glazed bacon wrapped baked potato done on the grill. You guys have a wonderful night. You ought to try this yourself. This really is a great recipe. Which is obvious because I haven't stopped putting it in my mouth yet to turn off the camera. Oh. <laughs>